Okay, hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. It's uh, still the 5th, and uh, I was out this morning early, and uh, I told you that it was cold, but I didn't tell you how cold it was, and that's an old Air Force flight line trick. I don't look at the uh, thermometer before I go out, but then when I went in for breakfast, one of my kids let the cat out of the bag, and it was negative 14, negative 14. So I checked it just now before I make this video, and it's negative three. And right now, I tell you what, I could strip down to my Speedos. It's, it feels very, very warm. I know it's not, though. Like, I can feel it on my hands. It's still... But I got full sun hit me in the face, and I love to make videos when this is happening. You know, I feel really happy today. But I realized that in my last video, I was answering a couple of things uh, that were put in the comment section on the video. And I think that that's what I'll do from now on. I will, I will go and I will look at those. And if you ask me questions, I will try to answer them. Um, type in it, forget it, not going to happen. For a while, my wife was trying to do it, but not going to happen. Uh, but I'll try to answer it. And it kind of gives me, like, something to talk about for the next video, right? Why do I make videos? I don't know. I don't even monetize them. If I did monetize them, they'd go a lot further. But that just means that YouTube is pushing it out there further. And they might push it to people that don't really care about this. So I don't see any purpose in it. It doesn't amount to any real dollars. So I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> Um, at this time anyway, unless there's a good reason to. I got to be careful with YouTube if I mention any certain things they don't like. And they will um, put you in the penalty box for it. So I got to stay away from certain things. So you noticed this morning I said uh, global warming. Um, it, we've gone through that and we're into climate change now. And I'm cool with that because under climate change is the solar minimums. And, you know, I don't hear about this on the news or anything. Of course, I don't listen to it, but I don't hear it on just regular outlets. But uh, I guess you can find it if you want to, solar minimums. And if you want to look into it, go ahead. And it makes sense to me, but that's just me. But one of the things that I thought that I would talk about is pros and cons of this breed, the Mangalitsa of privilege. There are definitely cons to this animal, definitely. And I think it's, you know, 2018 is the year of truth. And I think that we should be totally upfront and totally truthful about the downside of this animal. I mean, this is what I do. I raise these animals and I want to talk to you about the downside of them. Um, these are some of my sows. I'm going to turn this around so you don't see my face. And um, you can see that electric fence is not on in the winter. And they're looking for something different to eat here is what they're doing. So I can get around here and I can show their faces. And this will demonstrate to you one of the downsides of the Mangalitsa pig. And it's the cuteness factor. You know, they're, they're just damn cute. And people can have a hard time with that. If you're new at raising them, I think people have a tendency to, hey, leave that alone, to make pets out of them. See, look at that. And so that's, that becomes a problem. And they have a really nice disposition. You can get in with them. I'm suffering from this today is this pig is a they'll call it a lard type pig but they're they're fat they make fat out of whatever they eat so I put them out on forages they make good fat out of it I give them a bale of hay they make fat out of it I give them junk bread they make fat out of it um, if I give them corn they'll make fat out of it so the downside of all that fat I got a buddy up in the UP, you know, it's colder up there than it is here. And he was struggling with some uh, Lyme disease. He got bit by a, 
a tick way back and uh, got Lyme disease. So he's been struggling with that. And there's a, a protocol that you have to go through. So he has to have his, have his blood checked. And his blood came out normal or I guess what they would say is optimum level for vitamin D. And as you know, vitamin D comes from the sun. Or well, that's a source of vitamin D. And um, so the pigs are out in the sun. They're eating forages that are grown in the sun. They're eating hay that's grown in the sun. I guess the junk bread that we feed them, it's from uh, small grains that are grown in the sun. So the, the vitamin D that comes from the sun, it seems to concentrate in their fat. Right? And you know what happens when you eat vitamin D, when your vitamin D levels are normal? People get happy. And if there's anything that drives me crazy, it's happy people in the world. It just drives you nuts. So that's kind of a downside of them. So cute and vitamin D. Okay, there's two things. I got to be totally honest with you about this if, if uh, we're going to talk about Mangalitsa privilege. So there it is. I guess I'll, uh, I'll cut it off there and I'll come back at you with some other uh, nuggets of wisdom.